I'm Andreas Schleicher, I'm working at the OECD and lead OECD's global educational comparisons, like our PISA study. And one of the findings from PISA is that uh, girls often do quite well in science, but they don't see science as something that is opening life opportunities, career opportunities. A career fair like this is a fantastic opportunity for people to get a sense of how work is going to be, what the opportunities are, to connect what they learn in school for, with how they are going to use it later in life. I'm very impressed by this event. Yeah, when we look at uh, school results, we often see that, you know, there are gender stereotypes. What if the girls doing better in, 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 in reading and boys doing better in mathematics? And it's often because, you know, girls often don't see the life opportunities that lie behind mathematics or science or some of those kind of STEM subjects. But once they get a sense of how people actually use those skills in life, that actually the world is very, very sort of rich in its opportunities, um, getting that sense can help actually making the right investments can early on in schooling to ensure that those opportunities remain open. Well, actually, we do see the gender gaps in schooling and learning outcomes are closing, but they're still wide and clearly visible. And not just in the performance on tests, that's actually the minor problem. The bigger problem is the attitudes and aspirations of girls and boys. Basically, we see pretty clear sort of gender stereotypes still in the aspirations that, that boys and girls have. We also see, for example, anxiety with mathematics much more prevalent among girls than among boys. And again, you know, if young people have a sense of how those skills are actually used in life at work, uh, you can break down those kind of gender stereotypes in school and make sure that young people make the right investments early on. And I think we have to become better at answering those kinds of questions, making sure that uh, children, even in primary school, know that what they learn in school is actually going to make a difference for their life. We see that the demand for our skills is changing very rapidly. As a young person, you know, you need to have a good sense of what life is going to look like when you leave school. And you can only get this by working with employers, using your skills at a workplace, getting exposure to a real work experience. That gives you a sense of what the opportunities are. They're going to change, which means that the, work, the premium on kind of occupational specific skills it's going to decline, we're going to see an increase in the premium on generic transferable skills. But that's exactly what this is about, this kind of career fairs.